It is hard enough for the families of 16-year-old Devon Reyes or 24-year-old Mauro Reyes, also known as Byron, to believe that they are gone forever. But just a year and a half after losing another family member in similar circumstances, Devon's large family's pain is deepened by the loss of Grandpa, as he was known. We never believe, but when we see him go under the door, he, Mama never knew at the moment yet, but we think him in the play. When we see him go under the kitchen door, they drop now and then, and then we say something must have happened for you. Then I tell my brother, let's go go check see if that's true. Then, and then we tell daddy, let's go go see. And when we reach there, we had so much vehicle done the day, so we have to park for a distance. When we jump out of the vehicle, when I reach there, and I just see the cycle and I said, my God, that he be true. Mm, it appears he, he died on the, um, on the spot, no? He it because it don't cover it a white sheet. And they said that when he reached the police, they want to call it down that the accident happened and they knocked and they were, they were dead spot. They said it dead right away. The family was reacting to the terrible news brought by a family member after Devon took his leave of Loretta and others at the family home in the village of Tea Kettle. The violent collision on the George Price Highway moments afterward wiped out both youths' lives in an instant. On Saturday 31st, December 2016, sometimes around 6.30 p.m., police responded to a traffic accident between miles 53 and 54 on the George Price Highway. And upon arrival, police saw two motorcycle on the center of the highway and two male persons on each side of the highway motionless. Police conducted an investigation which uh, revealed that both persons were driving in the opposite direction when they collided. They passed, on, passed away on the spot and they were identified as Mario Reyes 24 years and Devon Reyes, both of Tiketel Village. Despite the presence of helmets on the scene and at least one motorcycle having lights on, police believe that on a dark road, speed kills. Well, what police are looking is that possible speeding contribute to this accident. Um, are you clear so far in your investigation as to whether both men were adequately protected on the on the road? Well, it's not clear if they were protected. But I, I can say that yes, and a helmet was seen on the on the accident scene. Okay. Now, in terms of the conditions of that uh, area, we were there. We understand that it was a it, we 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 saw it's a straight road coming off a, a curve, and there are no indications of. Um, lights or, or anything that would light the pathway there yes that area is a dark area and that's in between the two villages while there was pain in their voices as they mourned his sudden and familiar loss grandpa's family was mostly smiles today preferring to remember his fun loving ways As somebody like he funny he like to it's fool out of the way yes he like fool it the lineage and nephew and do fool but still yet he like cook too. Talk to us about um, what you will miss most about him. Well, I will miss him because for be what time like this, how it end up for be, we don't expect it may happen like that. You know? And because one year and a half, my mother just lose one, then if call again, lose another son. And the same, that, and the same cycle accident. Oh, so you already lost a brother in an accident? Yes, sir. In a Rayman race, June 21st, 2015. Belmopan police once again called for caution on the road. This is a sad situation. Um, motorcycle involved, but my advice to motorcycle riders, be careful, take your time on, on the highways, wear your proper protection, for example, your helmet, and less your speed. From Tea Kettle Village, Kaya District, Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.